Welcome back to Automation, where this time we are trying to break a world record. A couple of days ago, you may have seen this. The SSC Tawatara break the world record for the fastest car at 331 miles an hour. Today, we're going to jump into Automation and see if we can break that speed. We're gonna need something like this that's super aerodynamic because in automation, the shape of your car, the aerodynamics of it is super important for your drag and that's what we need. Not to mention though, we also need something that we could fit an enormous engine in because horsepower is gonna be the name of the game. The drag on the LaFerrari is 0.29. Okay, so that'll be our benchmark. What can cut through the air even better? Definitely not a Lamborghini, but a drag coefficient of 0.21. That's the best I've seen so far. After that, we also need this thing to be as lightweight as possible, so we've got to go with everything here. What engine are we gonna put in our Frankenstein Lamborghini? I think it's gotta be the biggest engine that we can fit. That's a V16. That's already about six liters. That's not bad. For now, we've got an eight liter V16 dual overhead cams. Let's go. Like, it may not seem like it makes that much of a difference, but when the weight is 389 versus... 383 three. in the long term that's gonna make a really really big difference so let's let's go with that we are also gonna toss a massive turbocharger on this thing with an even bigger intercooler on here because why not we will figure out our tune for this thing in a moment and immediately the engine likes to knock okay fantastic how are we gonna fix that oh yo compression we drop our compression and there's our horsepower. Twitch chat is telling me the Tawatara has 1,700 horsepower. So yeah, I think I've definitely got to beat that. I don't know what type of witchcraft we've done, but we're nearly at a 10 liter V16 engine. Look at that thing. That is enormous. That is so sick. Let's pull up the graph now. 1,500 foot pounds of torque and about 1,500 horsepower. Obviously, I've got some tuning to do. Hey, hey, we have more horsepower than the SSC. Yo, we can get close to 1,900 horsepower. That is insane. 1,900 horsepower. And apologies for your ears. Let's give it a little test. Didn't blow up. 1,900 horsepower at 7,700 RPM, nearly 1,500 foot-pounds of torque. I think if a car is going to be the fastest car in this game, it might very well be this thing. So let's toss the engine in here. Before we do that, let's do some painting. Do we make it Vanta Black? Remember when this was a thing? Completely forgot once again about our body morphine. Now, we've got to keep in mind we're trying to build the world's fastest car, right? So, usually, if I was trying to just build something cool, I would go in and make it wide body, but that's not what I'm trying to do. We're trying to make something that cuts through the air as smooth as... as smooth as possible. No, that's better. I think we want something almost like this with a huge nose on it. Yo, I can have a hole in the door. Well, obviously, I'm not going to do that. That's going to drastically change the aerodynamics of my car. But I think with that, we're done. And now it's time to make our Lamborghini, Jag, whatever you want to call it, look pretty cool. But we've also got to keep in mind everything in this game, aerodynamics are very, very important. Boys, I'm never going to be able to- wait, 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 wait. How cool is this car? Sure, the headlights are a little bit on the small side. I, I think we'll just go with those for now, I swear. I've spent like 20 minutes on the goddamn taillights alone. So we're, mo we're moving on. If this is going to be the world's fastest car, it needs to look really, really happy. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That's the creepiest 
cutest looking car in the world. And now it's sad. <laughs> Why do we make every car look like a person? Vents, I probably don't want anything if I'm honest. Ooh, actually, what are these? That's not for rear windows. Well, it is now. I, I have no idea what that's actually meant for, but we're gonna go with it. If I wanna go in a straight line as quickly as possible, I need things on my car that are gonna keep me straight and true through the air. And by that, I mean, I need fin. Twitch chat understands my science. Fantastic. We can move on to the front lip of this vehicle where... We probably want a front splitter, if I'm honest. Just something basic, simple, kind of like that, and just chuck it underneath this car. So as much as I would like to come in here and toss the most obnoxious rear wing on that I can, for right now, at least, we don't actually need one. Twitch chat says the SSC Tawatara doesn't actually have wing mirrors. Okay, okay. That's a very, very good call. Wing mirrors in real life just would give you more drag, so no wing mirrors for this thing. Oh, yes, sir! That's what I'm talking about! Hey, give me 15 minutes to get these in the position that I want. These are not gonna play very nice with me. I have no idea what we've done here, but that is not gonna go around a corner. Maybe we need a vent to cool down our engine. The SSC has it. We need that as well. Twitch chat's telling me that these add extra weight and extra drag. No, 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 no. Twitch chat is bringing up a very, very good point. Cover their rear wheels for the ultimate aerodynamic. You cannot tell me this is not the coolest looking car in the world. The design process is complete. Thank you, Twitch chat, for helping along. Now... We've got to make this thing all-wheel drive, even though it'll be a little bit heavier, all-wheel drive will be easier to drive. I want as little wheel spin as possible. Top speed? Oh, boy. What's the lightest weight brakes I have? Carbon ceramic. Okay. Carbon ceramic, one piston, size as small as possible to save my weight. WTF is this car? At this point, I will be honest, I am not sure. Twitch chat, the last thing we need for our top speed car is a name. Twitch chat, suggestion. This is gonna be the Nyx failure number 69. In three, two, I'm actually just, just roll on the power slowly. Away we go. Come on, this is like half throttle. There's nearly 100 miles an hour. Okay, we're full beans, full beans. No way, 200. No way. No way. 250. My tire exploded. My tire. No. no. <laughs> My tire blew up at 290 miles an hour. I think I also need to be in manual gear because my car refuses to go up into max gear. There we go. 300 miles at... Damn it! Every tire pop! Is the theory that my fins pop my tires, is that really what we're gonna be saying? What if I go with tiny little rear tires, right? The rear tires blew out. Try increasing the tire width and rim size. I'm gonna go as wide as I realistically can without my tires sticking through my fin. We roll on the horsepower. Upshift. Very, very gently. No popping tires yet. More horsepower. Up to fourth. Into fifth gear. Closing in on 200 miles an hour. There's sixth gear. No! Spun it. Spun it. Spun it. I think I might actually need a rear wing on this thing. Because it does not go in a straight line enough. It's not able to put down its horse. There it is! 360 miles an hour! We did it! We are the world's fastest car! SSC, get in the bin! You guys saw 369? <laughs> what a- what a top speed! What a fantastic vehicle! Look at us go! Oh, oh, we're almost gone! Oh! <laughs> Yo, should we try this thing on the drag strip? Do we think it's gonna be any good? I mean, it is all-wheel dra- Let's see. Let's see. It is V16 versus V16. Let's see if we've got what it takes. Oh, 
What the? I went backwards. Throttle control is simply a suggestion. Here we go. I built a goddamn Mustang. We came into automation and BMNG drive with the goal of becoming the world's fastest car. And that is exactly what we did.